Welcome to this video, my name is Eva, I'm a certified dietitianist and in this video I talk about road mores but also about more about some trends that I see happening in the Bavian community that I'm very critical of. So first of all I want to say that um, I have nothing against Robert Morse. I think he he has helped countless of people, so many people. I know personal people, personal? I know some people <laughs> in real life that he helped. So I have nothing against Robert Morse in that sense. I think also that what he does is for people it's really great, like he emphasizes the how imp the importance of detox, the lymphatic system, etc. And I think that's so important because I think that in, in Western society, people don't even know about the benefits of detox and about the possible positive effect that detox can have for one's health. So yeah, nothing against Robert Morris in that sense. And I made a video um, already about this whole situation, but... I think it was mm, like I could do much better <laughs> and I think that so thank you so much for the comments because I think I definitely had some blind spots about the situation so yeah I really want to apologize if I hurt anyone's feeling or something and I think that's that's a cool thing about YouTube as well that you have an opinion but then and that's what I love about comments actually when people write comments and not just like nice comments of course i love nice comments but also constructive comments because it really makes me think about my perspective and then i can change my perspective and that's a really great thing so however some trends that i see in the rubbing community that i'm very critical of and i don't say robert morse is to blame i think that people hear what they want to hear in a way so i don't think that robert morse is responsible for that but it's just some negative trends that i see of some people who are in this Robert Morris community that I think are yeah are just really not good. So the first one is the like just getting soaked up in this detox cycle. I think that detox is super important and especially for people with you know really um you know certain conditions it is so important. However I think yeah, just the clients that I have with, I really want to, and the philosophy that I have is that detox is important, but detox should be a step towards a healthy lifestyle. Like, detox should not be the end goal. Detox should be a step towards living your best life. And I think what happens is that some people, they get lost into this detox cycle. So they do, they always think they need to improve, they need to improve, so they need to... Um, they do one detox, so they do maybe juice cleansing for a lot of days or even months and then they do another juice cleanse and then they do a water fast and they completely get soaked into this detox lifestyle and I think that's really dangerous. Why? Because your body needs to have breaks and it's not healthy to go from one detox to the next detox to the next detox. I mean, this is for like people who are not dealing with life-threatening disease. This is for like kind of people like quote unquote, like normal people in a way, like people who are not dealing with life-threatening disease, but they get completely soaked in this detox cycle and they lose way too much weight. And they just can actually have negative health consequences from overdoing detox. And this is really something that I stand for, is to promote a healthy, sustainable lifestyle that comes after detox. So detox is, should not be the end goal. The end goal is to create healthy habits. And is it Robert Morse's fault? No, I don't say that. But it is just something that I noticed within some people who promote Robert Morse. So not Robert Morse's fault, but just something that I noticed specifically in this community of people within the Rohingya community promoting Robert Morse. So, and this is really important. And I think that's also, I created a coaching program where I really emphasize the importance of a healthy lifestyle, like a fruit-based lifestyle, vegan lifestyle that is compatible with your life. So I really want to help people to get to a point where they can live a great life and where food benefits them. Because I know how how detrimental it can be for your health if you get soaked up in this detox mindset. It is not healthy to be in this mindset and it is important to, to emphasize it because I think also that um, 
yeah, the Robin community is is there is I think there is actually some connection within orthorexia or, or eating disorder and I think that some people that use detox maybe also as a coping mechanism for dealing with life but it is an unhealthy coping mechanism so when for example you have that and that's something that I noticed within some people of the Robin community is that maybe they have some struggles in life I mean everyone has struggles but their way to deal with it is to do a juice cleanse and it's it's not really sustainable and I think it's so important to find other coping mechanisms that are healthier like positive affirmation or whatever to deal with life's situation and I think that some people they use detox as an unhealthy coping mechanism and I think that can get quite dangerous so those things I do discuss in my coaching program so if you're interested definitely check out the link in the comment section and the link in my bio so that you don't get soaked up into this detox cycle because it can be bad for your health long term. Another thing that I see also in the Robin community um, and especially with some people who promote Robert Morris, do I think again Robert Morris is at fault? No, absolutely not. I think that again people hear what they want to hear is purity mindset and I think that in the beginning of my Robin journey I was also caught up into that and I'm so grateful that I broke free of it. So purity mindset is that you want to be the perfect, the most perfect and the most pure version of yourself in a way. And if it's getting out of hand, if it's getting too much, it can also be detrimental. Because for some people with the purity mindset, they think, oh, I have to eat only um, like the best quality organic and fruit and just fruit and just a low variety of it. So they want to take the steps toward and breatharianism so they want to get as pure and pure and pure as possible and I mean that can also be super detrimental because in the end and that's also something that I talk about with my clients is to say what life do you want to lead like do you want to lead of being a life of being the most purest version of yourself and only eating a few amount of variety of food like only maybe four different uh, fruit and that's it but then you also limit yourself in your life, right? Because you cannot really maybe um, have so many social situations. So I really emphasize how important it is first to have variety, how important it is to eat greens um, and also to listen to your body because I think some people, they get, they get soaked into this purity mindset, into this perfection mindset and they stop listening to their body. So even though maybe the body says, hey, I want to eat some greens or maybe even, hey, I want to eat some veggies or something like that, they don't listen to their body and they say, no, I want to be the most purest version of myself. So I just eat the most purest fruit and totally neglecting their, their body's signs. And this is also not healthy. So I think that this is definitely something that I see within some people of the rowing community that they get so caught up in in this purity mindset and perfectionist mindset that they also maybe let go of social contact. They let go of the perspective of what health and what life is actually really about. And in, in the end, health and is really about life quality. What kind of life do you want to have and your food? should help you like the way that you eat should help you to live a great life it should help you to have more energy towards life and i think that some people what happens is that they get caught up into this they make food their life and they make this goal of purity and perfectionism their goal and they try to find purpose in perfectionism or they try to find purpose in becoming as pure as possible with also their food choices and what I realize is that obviously purpose does not come from being your purest version it really comes from relationship and having a certain life quality so that's something that I definitely noticed in the Robin community that I'm really against and that also I say in my coachings I help people if they're caught up in this detox cycle or purity mindset to get out of it um, and yeah, maybe one thing that I critique at Robert Morris is just the use of herbs. I personally think from the research that I've done that you can have a good detox experience um, even without buying his herbs. I think that you can 
just by eating a lot of greens, you can really have a good detox experience. So that's the only thing probably that I criticize about him, but the rest is really just what about what I see in the in the raw food community, just some trends that are not healthy. And I think I got the comment um, on one of my videos why I need to put down other people to feel better about myself. And I think personally that in the in the social media, especially on Instagram, YouTube not so much. I think that YouTube is quite is is, is more negative, but also a little bit balanced. But on Instagram, what I see is that people really enable bad behavior. So, for example, what I see is that when on Instagram is maybe there is a person who is clearly anorexic and who who goes on another juice cleanse, even though there's like the, the thing that this person should do is go to the hospital, get therapy, etc., to put on more more weight. So the goal for this person should not be to to lose weight or to do any cleanse or to become pure or to become more perfect in whatever way. The goal is really for this person to seek professional help. And what I see on Instagram is a lot of enabling, like, oh yes, great that you do another fast. And I think that's unbelievable toxic and it's not positive. So I think that um, it's, for me, it's not about personally putting someone down, but for me, it's more about noticing trends in the vegan community or vegan community that I think are not healthy and to speak out about it. Because I think you can only change situations when you speak out about them. And so I don't want to be a person who's enabling dangerous behavior. So that's really what's to my heart. So this is my opinion about this whole situation and again if you have comments write them down in the comment section again i'm always open to changing my perspective changing my mind and um, yeah so i'm really curious about hearing your opinions on this topic and thank you so much for watching and again if you're interested in in learning about a sustainable diet that comes also after this the detox stage definitely check out my coaching um, because I'm very confident that I can help you with that. So I hope you have a beautiful day and see you in my next video. The best for you.